Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you about Tetris Spinal Cord Imaging. Definition. Abnormally low portion and restricted mobility of cordus medullaris in concert with characteristic symptoms. Tetris Cord Syndrome implies that there are associated symptoms. Spinal cord may appear tetri on imaging without overt symptoms. Most common signs and symptoms get spasticity, weakness, muscular atrophy, decreased sensation, abnormal low extremity reflex, lower backs and leg pain, Version in the morning or with exertion, urinary, urinary bladder dysfunction. Other signs and symptoms cutinous stigma pain less than 50%, orthopedic food, animal usually cut food, clinical profile, adult and children present differently. Children incontinence, sclerosis, weakness, and are pain, secondary to degenerative change, followed later by weakness, plus minus incontinence. Type phylum terminal syndrome. Clinical finding of tetric cord with no more conus pressure. Demography A. Symptomatic presentation is most common during rapid somatic growth or eight years of age and adult adolescent growth food or secondary to kyphosis and leading. Prevalent in adult is probably underestimated. Equal between male and female. Epidemiology prevalence is unknown, probably more common than imaging. Best clue low lying corners medullaries may have second volume, terminal, plus minus fatty infiltration, or lipomatosis. Accompanied by clinical signs and symptoms of tethering, low sensitivity, and decreased sensation, animal abnormal gait, go or bladder dysfunction. General imaging feature: colors below, air to air reduced may appear touch or directly a push. To those of tetris, lack of conus motion with CSF pulsation, lack of dependent ventral shift of conus when prone. Fill more than 2 mm 6 at alpha S1 on axial transfer image. Plus minus a coaching for the sound of C2 of a right fat must have corners. Plus minus bony or soft tissue distance. Also to screen in pain less than six months old and increase the risk of spinal anomaly as suggested by certain cortinous stigma associated Symptomatic anomaly. Come on. To identify underlying abnormality for surgical planning is symptomatic pain. Three D S S F P number in a six years old. With bilateral profit, 
and multiple segmentation anomaly. So the third and second film terminal tethering the conus medullaris, which terminate at the level of L3. T2 MI is a four years old with a sacral temple, so an intramedullary, intraneural lipoma, tethering the conus medullaris at the level of L3. Note the chemical safe artifacts at the junction of the lipomas and the conus. This is T1 hammer in an 18 months old with motor delay, increased lower extremity tone, and plant flexion, so fatty infiltration of the film terminal, which is adherent to the dorsal aspect of the lumbar canal. This is the ultrasound image in a newborn with a lipomatous sacral appendix, so an elongated non-dependent spinal cord, tethered to an echogenic fatty mass. The mass extends dorsally through dystrophic posterior element into the subcutaneous tissue consistent with a lipo melo meningosa. Treatment symptomatic patient early prophylactic surgery, resect tethering mass, a present, a release cord, and repair dura. A symptomatic patient with radiographic tethering. Management is controversial. Some advocate prophylactic surgery given low operative mobility. Prognosis for a symptomatic patient is better than symptomatic. Other advocate prophylactic surgery only for a symptomatic adult who lead physical activity. Late life. Thank you.